What's wrong? I should go to the bathroom. Did you drink a lot of juice tonight? Yeah. Alright. Come on. Yes? How are you this morning? Fine. What do you want? Wait a minute. It's like you don't even want me calling. You know, we do have a child together. You don't act like it. What happened to you the other day? You were supposed to take Cindy to the zoo. I know. I'm sorry. Something came up at the last minute and I couldn't take her. Too busy for your own child? You could have at least called and said something. How can you not call your own daughter? Because we're always fighting. This isn't about us. This is about your daughter. I know that. Let me make it up to her this weekend. I can't depend on you. I'm taking her to the zoo myself. You're not gonna let me live this down, are you? No. And if this is all you need, then I have to go. I have a meeting this morning at work, and I need to get Cindy ready for school. Kinda early, isn't it? What time's your meeting? Don't worry about it. Well, aren't your meetings usually late morning, late night? Are you planning on taking Cindy to school early? No. Gemma's gonna drop her off for me. Let me pick her up and take her to school. Are you kidding me? I can't depend on you. You probably won't even show up. Look, I'm taking my child to school. I'm on my way. Whatever. Hello? Hey Gemma, uh, listen, you don't have to pick up Cindy for school today. Her father is going to take her. Are you kidding me? Can you trust him? No, not really, but we'll see if he actually shows up. All right, well, I mean, if he doesn't show, let me know. I can pick her up real quick. Thanks, but I really don't want to be late for work. So if he doesn't show up, then I'll just bring her myself. All right. Thanks again. Have a good one. Okay, bye. Cindy. Cindy, are you in here? Cindy. Oh, oh my goodness. Cindy! <laughs> Please don't do that again. You're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> I really scared you, Mommy. You should have seen your face. You did. That was a good one. Hey, listen, I made breakfast on the table, okay? Okay. Um, did you open this window again? No. Are you sure? Windows don't open by themselves. I didn't open it, Mommy. Maybe there's a ghost in here. <laughs> Go eat your breakfast. <laughs> Cindy doing? Is she ready for school yet? She'll be ready in a few minutes. What's the matter with you? Can I be honest? I don't understand you. You never call your daughter. You never ask if she needs anything. And you are always... Wait a minute. Oh. Wait, wait. Why don't you just take a look at yourself? Me? Yeah. I pay you all this child support. Where does it go? It's not going to Cindy, I can tell you What that. are you talking about? Every cent goes to Cindy. What do you think I do with the money? Buy clothes? I don't even want to hear this bull. Someone told me you use that money for everything except Cindy. Like what? You you can't even, you don't even have a say in this. You don't even pay the child support like you're supposed to. You know I lost my job because of cutbacks. So every time you're behind on payments, you lose your job? Look, I didn't come here to fight with you. I came here to take my daughter to school. Because you can't. You got some nerve. You don't call your daughter on a daily basis. You are never around, you don't help her with her homework, and you don't even take her to the doctors. Do you want an award for taking her to the doctors? When was the last time you took her to the doctors? Look, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Hi, Daddy. How's my baby girl? I'm fine. You ready for school? Yeah, but I don't want to go. Well, you have a good day today. I'll take you for ice cream afterwards. Yes, thank you, Daddy. Alright, now have a good day at school, okay? Alright, I'll try. Have a good day at work. Thanks, I'll try. You know, you could ask me first if you could pick up Cindy after school.
losing my daughter too. I can tell you a damn thing. Have a great day, and I'll see you when you get done, okay? Be good.